What is up, you guys? Back here, and I want to talk about the upcoming fight between Jake Paul versus Anderson the Spider Silva. Um, eh. yeah, another interesting fight again from Jake Paul. Always, um, he's fighting somebody in Anderson Silva who's respectably known for his hands at least this time around, and is not a slouch. So I give him that. Um. I, I like Silver a lot. I don't want to be like, hey, Silver, you know, but Silver is the, the GOAT of MMA when it comes to the middleweight division in the UFC. He's done a lot. He's been paid. He made the way for a lot of guys out there. Um, you know, Jake Paul, his boxing has been improving. You know, cardio still sucks, but the, the skills has been improving from Jake Paul. So I feel like this is, you know, it's going to be a cool fight, I, I guess. Um... I'm going to be at the Loma fight, so I'm definitely not going to be able to watch this on the top. You know, definitely going to have to rewatch it. But, um, you know, I think, you know, Jake Paul has a good right hand. The jab's all right. You know, um, for Silver, obviously, we know how Silver's hands are. They, they're pretty lethal. And he's been looking good doing the boxing matches. You know, he don't got to worry about all the takedowns and the, the clinching and the elbows and kicks. So I think for Silver... You know, I want Silver to win, obviously. Um, and I feel like he should win, you know. But, you know, you never know with Jake Paul. Somehow he always, somehow he always finds a way to to win fights. Um, you know, I, you know I, I give respect to Paul to, like, doing what he does and all that stuff. But, um, again, I want to... Silver probably around his weight now, but, you know, Silver's naturally a 185-er, and he's... Jake Paul's like almost 200 pounds, like bro, you know, Silver has fought at 205 before, so it's not like he, he can't make that weight, you know, but it's still, and the only thing I still, I feel like it's kind of corny that he still haven't just fought anybody, like, he haven't fought a boxer, and he haven't fought somebody just as young as he is, and naturally that weight, that's the only problem that I have, you know, and he's not going to, because he's not, you know, he's making money fighting legends, you know, he's smart. You know, he knows what he's doing uh, when it comes to promoting stuff. And he knows, um, you know, he's all about his money, man. So I uh, kudos to Jake Paul when it comes to that. Uh, Anderson Silver said he's not going to be repping MMA in this fight. He's going to be boxing. So he's not going to be repping MMA. And, but as much as he says that, you know, obviously the fans and everybody else is going to always compare him to the MMA fighter that he is. So... We're going to see um, who has the advantage. Uh, Silver still got his head movement. I saw uh, the fight he had with, with Charles Jr., I think it was. And he looked good in that match. You know, he just got to watch out for the right hand of Jake Paul. You know, that's the only thing for Anderson Silver. Get past the right hand of Jake Paul. Don't, you know. But the thing is, if Jake Paul gets tired, Anderson Silver will outbox him. You know, and I think Silver has a better chance of attacking the body first, going there down, going downstairs first, and then coming back on top. But Jake will get tired. I think it's like an eight-round fight. So it's like, he will get tired, you know. So we will see who's going to come out on top, you know. Um, again, if you guys uh, let me know down in the comment section what do you guys think of this fight and who you guys got winning, uh, we'd like to know. And uh, if you guys like the video, make sure to throw those thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button, guys. Really would appreciate it. And I thank you guys for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.